Child Evangelism Fellowship, and the Good News Clubs. And you may know the Good News Clubs or have siblings here in Good News Clubs. That's the ministry that I'm representing. You have an awesome opportunity to go with Chuck and go this summer to Charlotte. But you also have an opportunity, Columbia, Hickory, North Carolina, you have an opportunity to stay here in Greenville and make an eternal difference in the life of a child. I want you to stop and think for a moment. How old were you when you accepted Christ? How old were you when you accepted Christ? If you were between the age of 4 to 14, would you stand up? Look around the room because statistically we know that 85% of all believers accept Christ as a child. You may sit down. And yet today, in Greenville, there were, out of every 10 children, only two who went to church, and that was the only time that they went to church the whole month of March. The whole month. Less than once a month. We have, at, if you are here at this church this morning, around you, there are 70 churches within a five-mile radius. 70 churches that a child could have gone to church to today, and yet they didn't. Can I tell you how many times I've heard a child say to me, when I've been at a good news club that meets on the school campus at elementary schools, I've never had anyone tell me about Jesus before. In the summertime, I hire teenagers between the ages of 15 to 22 who stay here in Greenville, but they go to places like the Eastside YMCA or daycares or rec facilities for a week at a time with other teens that are on their team, and they share the good news of Jesus Christ. And yes, Chuck, many years ago, the ministry of CF used to use flannel graph, but today we use iPads when we're teaching the children. So we have come a long way in what we're doing as well. We are going to start the second week of June. That means you get a little bit of time off um, between school and when the summer ministry begins. You'll start by going with other teens from around the state who have been called by the Lord and are serving as well. And you will go to camp for a week at Columbia International University where you will be trained to know how to share the gospel effectively. I would imagine that there are some in this room who would love to be able to share their faith with a child, but perhaps have never done so because you don't know how, or you haven't felt comfortable, or you've been afraid. We're going to teach you how to share your faith and do so so that you're able to lead a child to Christ. After that week of training, we're back in Greenville, and we will have five weeks that you're working, which will take you through the end of June. We have the week of July 4th off, and then through the rest of July, that you have a paid position where you're able to go out and share the good news of Christ with others. If you love the Lord, and if you love children, I would love to talk with you about how you can make an eternal difference in the life of a child. I will not be here at 8.15 tonight when you all break, but in my place, I'm going to leave up here some cards that have the dates on them that you would have to commit to for the summer. It also has, the, um, has my website and email address on it, and then some brochures that have additional information in them as well. Go to our website. Look at what some other teens have said. I bet you all know some of them. Um, from even your own church or from your schools who've worked with us for the summer. I'd love to talk to you, but what I think is more important is that the Holy Spirit talks to you. And you pray and you ask the Lord if this would be an opportunity that he would have you to do for the summer. And if so, contact me. I'd love to talk more with you. Application deadline is April 1st. April 1st. 